first order of business is the approval of minutes of June 10th. Did you folks have a chance to take a look at them? I did. Everyone okay with them? All righty. Community input. Any input yet? Ah, the night is young. Department heads, Tom, come on down. Have a building inspection. Did, did you start your camera? Did you start Yes, yes. I think. Yeah, did I start it? No, I was talking to Nancy. I didn't see her get out. Oh. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's blinking. Okay, okay. We're all right. Thank you. Tom. Sir. We have a couple of things we'd like to talk to you about. Um, the first is the junkyard license, where we stand with that. As I recall, Mr. Cassinelli doesn't have one for the current year. He does not. Um, and I haven't noticed them bringing in an application for the, the coming year. So. No, I, I think it was basically my interpretation because when he went to the zoning board, then he's remanded to the planning board. Mm -hmm. And I did talk to the uh, civil engineer, civil consultants, and he did go to him, he brought him all this stuff. Okay. So it's in the hands of the design professional. And I'm just figuring that once we got that, we would move into the... Uh, Designs the for what, though? Oh, he has to have a whole site review. For, but that's for his, that's just for his towing business. Well, right? This is for his job or a job. I thought it was a package deal. Uh, because there are a lot of so. things. Is that how, I don't think that's how we work. I don't think that's how we're approaching it either. No. But And can oh. we even do that? Because he went to ZBA for um, towing and the junkyard's grandfathered. So do we have any cause to take him to planning for something? Well, if you no, no. He, um, the zoning board granted a variance to, to have a junkyard. He's had a junkyard. Well, he they granted a variance so he can have a towing company. The junkyard was a pre-existing non-conforming use. Yeah, wasn't the yeah. variance part? Junkyard was not part of CBA. All right. and he, I mean, towing, was, yeah, junkyard was not part of CBA. CBA was just for towing. And since he's been operating the junkyard, he's been under the obligation to meet oh. 17 different oh, he, requirements. And there, and there are at least three that I've highlighted right. that I know that he's not meeting. All right, well, that's, that then is my mistake. I figured we would just wait, but we'll, I'll find out. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll give him a call. As he's moving along, I mean, he's, uh, he's so the junkyard's not number six. It's, you, He's not, it's not screened no. from public view. Part of it is, but it's not completely screened. He's violating number 11. The area is supposed to be, uh, the entrance yeah. is supposed to be covered with gravel. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, pardon me. That's number, that's number 14. Uh, number 11, he's got more than three vehicles out there that, uh, I don't know if they're for sale or not, but it looks like a, a used car lot, so I'm assuming they're all for sale. Uh, and number 14, the front is not, um, it's not, maintained with um, clean gravel in any way. There's in fact giant mud ruts I drove oh, yeah. by it oh. this afternoon. So it's, no, no argument. It's it looks bad. Definitely in tough shape. And, and and we have given him countless opportunities oh, okay. to comply, right? I mean you've yes. been over there and told him yes. you have X amount of time to yes. do it. He claims um, he's doing it. I'll uh, it never materializes. Yeah, I, I I think that was I haven't been really pushing him along thinking because I know it's in, I know the uh, civil engineer is doing a site plan, which right. is going to encompass the whole thing. See, that's where I'm the little. Uh... So, what would you say about our ability to compel a, a pre-existing non-conforming use to have a site review? Are we sure it was not included as part of the variance? Yes. Yeah. It was only for town, is my recollection. Yes. Huh. Because he's, he's he's operating under the the grandfathered authority of the, of the previous owner. But didn't we? I mean, at the zoning board, we discussed the drunk car license. That was we may have. But, but if you recall, it was. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Um, it was secondary. To, they kept they kept redirecting it back to the towing, um, including public comment, because. Yeah, it pertained was... really just to the variance. Yes. All right. So, so we we have the power in a potential ordinance and in these conditions to yes. um, enforce these and whatever other conditions yes. may be warranted. 
So yes, I will. I'll call him up tomorrow morning and go, and take a ride over. So these are. I mean, there's, there's two separate paths he's, he's yeah. supposed to be traveling down. Yeah. There's his towing business that he's right. dealing with through zoning and now planning, right? Yes. But he also, before any of that even happened, before we even knew anything about that, yeah. it was born out of this his non-compliance with the right. 17 um, criteria that. We told him he needed to get into compliance with it, and we kind of put it on hold to see what he would do with the uh, with zoning. Well, we've come a full year later because his license expires on June thirtieth, and it's the seventeenth. So, yeah, yeah, no, nope. he's, um, he's been operating for almost an entire year right. without any license, yeah, and, and he hasn't shown any kind of effort, as far as we're concerned, to come into compliance with any of these. Now, uh, he may be fine with covering the tires. I don't know. I haven't gone in there. I don't know, but well, I'll, I'll tell him I'm going to do a, a site inspection sometime this week. Okay, I'll go over with him and uh, I'll make sure the uh, PES guys are at also for their best management practices. He has to okay. go along with. So, would you care to comment on number eighteen, which you know? Immediate <laughs> What, what can we, which is, what do you do when he's non-compliant? Immediate revocation of the license, what does that mean and at what point can we say that he's not compliant and revoke it? I think we have to go through a, you know, a formal written process to him, but, I mean, it says what it says. Immediate cessation of all junkyard operations and then he would, he would have to appeal it. So do you think that his infractions have risen to the level that we could notify him in writing? Yeah. That no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I think so, yes. Not complying in those yes. ways. Yep. That might be a good... I mean, wait, it's it's been a full year. Oh, Almost oh. a full year. Yeah. A couple sure. of weeks, it'll be a full year. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and, and, and before that, he wasn't compliant. I mean, we've given right. him the benefit of the doubt. He's always going to get compliant, and we yeah. say, okay, fine. And it just, it's, he never yeah. follows through, yeah. so, I mean... You're right. How many more? T it's not. I mean, it's not you. It's us. I mean, oh, it's we're the ones that have the responsibility to hold them accountable, uh, ultimately, and we have it, and passports have it. So, I think it's time that we do. Yep. So, you are correct. So we give him. You go over and take a look at it. Yeah. Issue him a report. Whatever this a letter that says, you know, you're you're not compliant with whatever. Yep. I, I, these are just the ones I can see. I, I've sure. been in there. I don't know what the rest of it looks like and say he has X amount of days to become compliant and if he's not, well, hopefully I won't be here, but <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm sorry, I know I won't be here. Hopefully I didn't finish, I didn't finish that right. Hopefully my two colleagues and then yes. that will be the board at that point will uh, hold him accountable. Uh, yes. I, I'm just tired of it. Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. What is the normal, um, you have so many days, what is the normal amount of days that they have? It pretty much depends on the circumstance. I think in this in this case, because of the scope of it, I mean, I would probably say at least fifteen days, not days. months. Okay. But, yeah. okay. Oh yeah. He's had. It doesn't illness. turn into that. Didn't he? Well, <laughs> he's been doing this forever, and I think yeah. the other right. the other thing is because of it has been going on for a while. If we said tomorrow, and he appealed it, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure Doug would say. That's no, but, yeah, right. So, so I think I, but I don't want sixty or ninety days. He absolutely I needs perfect, to react. I think immediately. thirty days is, is a reasonable amount of time to say. We can do that. Depending on how many, like I said, there's three here that I know of. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have to assume there's probably more than that, and to give him that, and if he doesn't need it, I was thinking fifteen because 15 towards the end of that's kind of coincides with the end of this month. Yeah, and his license. Will expire. Yeah. yeah. So I w I would go that route, and then we can reevaluate after well, or towards closer to that yeah. date to see how far he's come. Uh, he has yeah. made yeah. no effort in the did. past year to come to right. us to right. say he's right. been working on these. This is com I mean, maybe there's some confusion on his part. Maybe that's been on ours. But there are two separate paths, and he has to know that. Yes. That he had to, he's had issues with this list. For years, well, I, I separate think, from his towing business that we found out wasn't authorized yes. because of this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right, because we, we had um, a number of complaints from neighbors, uh -huh. and then we had our own issues with this list being yeah. him, him being in non-compliance. So we had a public hearing, and that was born. That was that. It all was born out of that, right? The right. fact that he had this towing business yeah. that, oh, come to find out, we, yeah. the town never authorized. So. Right. Now they have, but or they're in the process well, of doing yeah. so. 
But, um, okay. Alright. And the only other thing we have, you may have stuff wrong, but is Rollins Road. It's, uh, is it 112? Yes. I, um, <clears throat> me, I know he's gotten rid of a bunch of stuff, and I did talk to him um, this morning, no, or yes. yesterday. Called him, told him I was going to stop by. Yeah. And he does, despite the appearance up front, only two of those are unregistered. Okay. Um, he does have an accumulation of stuff now in front of the garage, which is difficult to see because of the bushes. Well, thanks for whatever else. Pretty much, yeah, exactly. Okay. So I told him that has to go, but he's okay. he's been pretty good. But there are only two of them, so we need to make sure that he gets at least one of them registered right. or removed. Right. I saw that there were vehicles, at least, that were on the other people's lot. That's all. Have yeah. been moved back at yes. least. So yeah, that's a loss, I guess. Yeah. In the backyard, is it still a... It doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, much better in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> when it's covered, right? Right. 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 Spring blooms. All right. Yeah. But he's... Yeah, I guess he had just... I think it was a work in progress. But he's another one. We're staying on top of him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's he's, fine. He's another one been there for you know a long time and doing it for a long time. But yeah, he's... he's uh, I think being fairly cooperative. Okay. Much so more than he was before. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Okay. Do we have anything else for Tom? Um, I think there was just one other thing. We wanted to talk about the, the building permit fees oh, that were... Oh, good call. Uh, Down there somewhere. Oh, it's a... Oh! Uh, Durham. Durham. Letter e. Durham. Yes. Building permit schedule fees. Right. Um, I'll see if I can call the copy. I have... I like the idea... Um, I think there's one in the... In the Different thing. Durham, is that the one we have in front of us? Yeah. I like that they have uh, folks that um, don't um, bother to get a permit but do work anyways. Exactly. There's a, a higher we can fee. We can double the fee. Yeah, we can do that in Dover as well. Yeah. So I think it's much easier to do if we had a schedule no. like that. And I. They're on the coffee. No, no, I can come to that. I mean, I, get, I understand no. mistakes happen. Yeah. You know, especially uh, there have been roofing companies in this that have come to do work in our town. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure it's necessary. Um, it's, it was, I mean, it says Durham on it, which needless to say, we have to change. So my only propo uh, purpose of bringing that to your attention is if you guys agreed to it, then I would modify it accordingly. So the final format would come back here anyways. Oh, to take a look at it? Right. I mean, in concept, I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. very straightforward. People can understand it maybe a little easier than the, than the current structure. Exactly. So. And things, we can make it more consistent because on ours, you know, we have a, a minimum fee for electrical and plumbing, but not for mechanical. And we can bring stuff right. into line. But, right. but it is, it's just for the purpose of, you know, showing you the concept. And then I would come back with a final thing. And there should be some flexibility, though, too, for, yes. for the board and for yourself, too. Sure. There are there are times that we dealt with this a number of times over the last several summers, where roofing companies, in particular, would tell yeah. people, "Oh, Rollinsford doesn't require a permit." Like, well, we do, and yes. so these people think they're complying yes. with the law because what the roofing mm -hmm. company told them, mm -hmm. yeah. and we send them a letter. So, I mean, if that's the case, well, I think, you know, it's I think some of that has been addressed with the uh, the change. It could be okay. on our application because it used to say building permit, and people would. Right. Building right. permits for roofing, you know. Right. But it says construction. It's more flexible. Okay. Yeah. That we can say certainly. Yeah. That, that is included. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that, I'll just going to modify it and, right. you know, put it in. Okay. And I would like to mention that I'm not thinking that we need to increase any fees. Right. So no, it's to make it clearer. Right? Yeah. I mean, I've got all well, for yeah, clarity. No, I, I mean, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And there are people that will complain that they don't understand the process, and once we send them the letter, they comply, but sure. I get it. Sure. If we can make it easier, yeah. we should do that. Great. So, are we okay with that? Mm -hmm. Anything for Tom? I don't think so. There's um, one other issue on Sandler Road. Do you realize that on me? Clement Road. Mm -hmm. But we won't get into it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You only got a couple more weeks, Mike. <laughs> Pick your battles. You need about $30,000 in legal fees. So. Oh, no. Oh, that one. <laughs> that one I'm going right. to I'm going to kick for someone, the camp for someone else. So All right. Keep kicking okay. down the road. Yeah. Yes. But uh, just keep it on your radar that it is an issue. 
you know, there's two issues. There's a, a business that's operating without approval. Yes. And then there's about half a dozen uh, uh, unauthorized apartments. Yeah, right. Yes. Some which could be authorized under the new accessory dwelling unit. Yep. And could become legal, yep. but have never been blessed by the town. Right. So they probably should be. Mm. So whoever's on our plan on the planning board for us should maybe bring that forward. Maybe come from the planning board too. I complain. Yeah. Are you the reference? I am. Okay. I am. It has to come from us, doesn't it? I think so. I think so too. And, and you all have to be ready to spend the least. It's going to be very expensive. You know. so, yeah. That's why we've never done it. Yeah. Well, then we just have to make a fee for next year. You know, it's, it's a bunch As we of say every year, if 18 other things pop up, we don't get to it. So, I mean, it also, I mean, this, you have to keep in mind, you may be displacing families too. So, I mean, there's the real, real threat of that as well. Mm -hmm. So, that could become another problem. So, that's perhaps why we haven't done that. And yet, there are two separate issues. So, you could tackle one and the business. The business. Of the business should. And then pick away at the others. You know? Yeah. Because eventually, if you keep ignoring it, oh, or you don't know about it, you've got some an or, a, another quasi-judicial board like the ZBA that says, well, they've been doing it for so many years. Yeah. It would be wrong to take away the person's livelihood. Well, yeah. That's what they have to do. So, thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Well, thank Thanks, you. Tom. I, I hope you're listening to me complain, so <laughs> no need to say any longer. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Anytime. All righty. What do we have? We have... No police, no fire yet. We have highway though. Come on up, George. Can I ask a quick one about fire? I noticed on our email that there's two emails for the fire chief. One chief at NH Johnson, whatever, and so what, one fire chief. Does he use them? Um, like many of us, he has his name and then there's an alias. So you pay for the name, and then you can have as many aliases as you want. So um, it was. So he, he's new to Google. But he just got a Google account not long ago, and I think he's acclimating it to it. But I'm still sending it to his personal address. If that's why you're seeing his personal email address plus his dot Rollinsford Rollinsford dot nh dot us address. But then Fire Chief is just an alias for his name. So. It just filters right into his but name. But we need account. both chief and fire chief. There's two. I haven't seen chief and fire yeah, chief. Yeah, I went looking for him when I was sending him an email today on my Google account, and I pulled up, and it came up as chief at, and then fire chief. So I, I know we're paying for things, but also well, I know that we're short on availability of them, and if he doesn't so use it, one of them. Aliases don't cost any money. Um, okay. But still, it doesn't make sense to have those two. And I'll look into seeing if both of those exist, but it might be something that it, um, that your Google account is remembering. It will remember things that are wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that they're both real. Okay. If so, he just could check into it. I, was I will tell you which one is real, but I don't think they're both Okay, because I stopped at the station, but he was busy. I was just going to ask him if he used either one of them. But I didn't think he needed both. Uh, but yeah, not he has one, it's not a big deal. Yeah, he has one Google account, no matter how many aliases we all have. There's so if the alias account. isn't correct, that's what you've been sending to, and he doesn't get it. Well, I didn't send anything. I still issue, use right? his so. personal one, because I didn't know he had one. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. George. Sorry. I just want to give an update on final. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Uh, the road's been all reclaimed and graded, uh, initially graded. Mm -hmm. They're going to come back and find graded right before they pay, but they're still maybe two to three weeks out due to the weather for the yes. spring. Right. And we still got a little bit of work to do there. The rest of the, we won't be doing much more ditching until they get done. We will be using the excavator to ditch. Uh, Someone's like, yeah. George. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> That's why I wish it wasn't me. It's, it's got to be like, your warranty is done or something. Yes, I get uh, that all the time. You want to uh, we're going to use, we're going to ditch the whole mill with, with the machine while we have it. So oh, perfect. Okay, good. Good. Get that out of the way. And oh, you're talking about the one that... The rental. Yeah. The rental. Okay. So we're supposed to have more weather this week, right? Right, so. it's supposed to be, yeah. we got to cross code with the put it in this week and okay. finish that. And uh, we are, we used about 90 ton of gravel less than what was on the... Oh, good. But we're going to need to put a curb in along the in front of the last house right before the big, just to, to direct the water. The water that way, yeah. It's a shame that we couldn't have gotten the. It's only 
going to permitting do back from the state so we don't have to do the cross culvert. But we're not going to change the one by his, by his house. We're going right. to change the one up the street. Right. Uh, because that one's <coughs> all oh, rotted out, but the one by itself seems to be okay right now. So okay. I don't want to dig into that anymore. Right. Right. Uh, but the, maybe this, we suggested a like a Cape Cod curb. It's not a high curb. It's just the direct flow of water, water away from, from that house down to to the brook. Mm -hmm. And they realign the hill. The hill okay. is not. It's banked going both ways, so the water stops coming across. Oh, that's good. good. So okay. it should stop it from coming across the road. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't got any complaints from anybody. I don't know if you people have. Uh, I, I usually hear about so no, I've been, I've been, so I've been you know, everybody that has property that I've been talking with, that's including good. the guy on that, where we had the water problem, we did. That's the water probably problem. why we haven't, George, had any complaints, because you've been doing a fine job keeping people updated so, a little bit. So. But, uh, you know, they. Uh, it actually come out pretty good. I mean, it's going it's to have a two and a half inch pitch from center to each side, so okay. the water gonna, should stay off the road. However, there is a couple of springs on that street, so we don't know what's going to happen with right. that. And that's, that may dry out now, we get a discord, so. The springs are on, on that end down there, too? It, no, it's on both sides of the hill, actually. Mm -hmm. There's springs, but, uh, <laughs> right. we, it, it, well, the water's to ground is still sure. wet. Right, man. Yeah. Now that we get the dish lines, it might dry out, so okay. they, they could feel it when they were going across with the machine, so. Questions? So, if what's did you get a timeline of when they're going to do the paving? It's two or three weeks. And he said a rainy day, they could, they may just say we're coming over to pave and mm -hmm. get it done because they can pave uh, gravel. Yeah, they can pave on gravel, but they can't overlay when it's okay. raining. Okay. So they said that right now that's gold for them. If they okay. if they have a crew that needs a job for a day, you know they'll probably well, slide in and grab it. But and then the overlay way. work on heritage will begin. They are slide that in so it's available. Yeah. Like they said, we'd like to do it all with the equipment in town once. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. I mean, these guys move equipment. It's crazy. That, that, that road we claim we came down from, there's a guy never up that way somewhere. Oh, right. mm -hmm. And now, in that left hand, is going to, uh, the ski resort up that way. Uh, Sunday River or something, one of those. No, it's way up. Shingle Oak, exactly. Five mm hours -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. Wow. I said, and they hire. They get factored into their price, I'm sure. Oh, no, it's so. all, it's all, you can go in there and stuff. Yeah. Said, you know, because the guy that ran the grade that said we should redo the, you know, I told him, I said, we got a water problem on the hill. He says, well, we need to raise it up and, you know, rewind and stuff like that. He says, that, you know, that's going to be a change in your work. I says, so I talked with Chris, and Chris said, we're in fine shape. He said, the gravel wide and everything, we're good. So we okay. could, there should be no extra, you know, good. Okay. for that stuff. So. Perfect. Uh, have anything else? I'm yeah, going to be looking at some speed limit signs for Bob for that, but I don't think there's one on it. Yeah, there's none. Like, there's there's one at all on it? So, ah. And we're going to need to do something down there. Again. Yeah. And, I mean, they're speeding on it now. It's, it's like a highway now because it's, it's smooth. <laughs> really? Well, it's gravel? Well, it's yeah. really nice. It's smoother now than ever. Wow. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, okay, we should definitely, definitely get one then. Yeah, he's going to see what the speed limit, the, the state set that speed limit for. Well. I think we ran into this problem before where Bob has had to, the minimum is 35. Yeah, well, then they probably ought to put the, the 30 there. I would the have. minimum in town? Yeah. Yeah. Certain types of roads. I mean, maybe one road road is on 35. Like, it's like, it's like for your Clement Road is 35 now. It's 35 used to be, on a highway line. It used to be <laughs> Which is nuts. 25 at one time, wasn't it? Or 30? I think the default is 30, and you have to do a traffic study to prove that it should be in Is the default else. 30? I thought you said the default was 30. Oh, whatever. It's higher than a problem. Not percent of Dover is thirty. I, I mean, it may not have changed. It's thirty-five on a highway road. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the state says the road should be. Uh, it shouldn't even be a speed limit. It should be fifteen. Right. Right. Because right. it's too many people on the road. None of us disagree with you. Yeah. Bob's kind of a stickler for following the law. Well, know, so. I, 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 I understand. It's not that, a bad thing. So. Uh, but you know, this. We back out. Like, they don't care. We're they want it done. They got to get there. No, that's true, too. Well, there's also people the walking from across the road right. and stuff. I mean, well, I think that you should be yeah. Oh, they hit a uh, <clears throat> one-ton truck. But that, and he said something about looking up. We're going to make get the smoking sign made up of the... Oh, good. good. We're going to look into that. Now, that's all coming out of my budget on the smoking signs. Smoking signs, you know, I mean, I'm just... I don't care. We'll find it somewhere, but... Probably not. Yeah, it was, uh, 
Did road signs come out of the highway road signs? Question. You can tell me where you'd like to put it. <laughs> um, to my mind, signs make sense, but that doesn't mean that his budget line has to suffer for that. Right. We can make a that note we can that find, we know that. You know, yeah, make a note and find money elsewhere so, to make sure that you can buy the other kinds right. of signs. But for accounting purposes, it probably doesn't make sense to come out yeah. of that line. So, as long as we keep track, so we know George and Roy didn't spend six hundred dollars on signs or whatever. And I'm going to. I mean, we got a traffic safety meeting next week, so he's going to have numbers. We'll get the right signed on and stuff okay. like that, so I'll know what they need for the yeah. or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, everyone. Everyone's happy what's going on down there, so. Good. We've had people give us compliments about the, what's happening at the transfer station. The people working there, they're very happy with it. A lot of compliments on there on so, Facebook, too, so. The guys, that has the been guys that's unusual for us to have any compliments. Well, the guys are good that's down there. They honest. help unload the cars. Which yeah, no, that's what people say, yeah. And okay. I, you know, I told them, I says, you be careful, you know. Right. Just, that's not your job, is yes. it? Right. But, but I think people appreciate it. They'd rather be helpful than, you know, they keep the place clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the trucking company that's hauling out of uh, trash says that, you know, there's only two transfer stations that are as in good a shape as ours. Mm -hmm. Good. And RRA also complimented us on Great. our transfer station. Mm -hmm. yeah, we still got some finished work to do over there, but we're trying to get things worked in the schedule here somehow. Sure. And Great. I guess I don't have anything else. So. Anything else for George? Um, I, don't, I don't have anything, but mm -hmm. no. I'll just say thank you. Keep up yeah, the work. Thank you so much. All righty, so we're not sure if the police are going to come police in. Police are not coming. Okay, so for next week then, can we add under police? Uh, we still wanted to, I was actually remembered for once, we wanted to talk to the chief about um, the, the range. Yeah. Right. Um, there was some more chatter about that I saw uh, from people. Um, and you saw I sent you the original? Mm -hmm. um, they were uh, they were no notification that, that yeah. Yeah. yeah which seemed which seemed fine to me but again I get it there's added use so people are asking again so we can revisit it that's not a problem okay. it doesn't mean it's going to change but we can revisit it um, and for under fire is Mark planning on coming the other chief um, I don't know because fire bonds is a place full holder for him yeah. for budget time for he can bring you the information as to how you all, the information so you can decide how you want to proceed. So, yep. so with that then, we do have welfare, right? Do we want to do it at the end of the night or do um, you want to do it now? That's up to you. Do you guys want to um, do it now or I think end? probably the end. The end? end is fine. Yeah, the end. And it is, so we don't have to make people leave and come back. All right. Town administration, space needs committee draft chart. So Caroline was kind enough to email it to us all again. I took a look at it this afternoon. And... Um, I think I'm uh, I'm good with it. You're good with what? The draft that that she sent us. I think it looks fine. There's a lot there, but if you're going to, it, it also says where you can help, where you can seek assistance to get some of that information. And the, there was uh, also I'm looking at an old draft. I don't know. Pull it back up again. I think you're looking at the new draft. Okay. It's a lot. It is a lot, but I don't think it's. I gotta find them. I'm, I'm just one person, though, so if you want to change it, it can be changed. I'm not the end Would all. you find that the charge overlaps the kinds of questions that you would want to ask the consulting firm if you're going to go ahead with that? I think some of it does, yes. And I'm okay with that. That information then can be sent to, for, to, them to, to, review, to, to, to your committee that you can well, review. My committee is defunct. Well, to be honest with you, it's be... just me and Bob. That's the only ones that are on the committee right now. So it needs to be yeah, it'll get disband and reform. 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 Sure, well, okay. Because there's nobody that. else there. Yeah. The, the, re, the reconstituted uh, um, Space Needs Committee can use that information to answer those questions, I think. I think that... So. I think that you should... If you, The requirement that... The thing that I read today was that had who they were recommending to be on the committee, right? So some titles and placeholder like ideas, but you know that's all up for discussion. Yeah. Where'd it go? 
I think we should put it out to the town and have the ones that for membership. have a problem that they need to step yeah. up and do it. Yeah, so it just says... So, yes, for membership, but yeah. um, are you okay with the charge itself? So it says, the Rollins for Space Needs Committee, or RSNC, shall be composed of five residents and two alternates to be appointed by the select board. A select board member shall advise and assist the RSNC as needed. So that's one of the one of the members would be a, or or is it five residents and a select board member? And two alternates. Five and. and All right. Well, that's yeah. fine too. Right, that's fine. Yeah. The only um, my only caution is is so if you have if you have eight members, um, you could have four members that believe you should go in one direction. And four members of things should go in a different direction, mm -hmm. and you may not come to any consensus. So it might be better to have an odd number of members. But well, the alternates wouldn't attend, would they? Or do they? Okay, so then you'd have six members. Well, you'd have you'd have you could have three and three. Though. I mean, so it depends on the night. If you don't have regular members present, but you do have alternates, that the alternates could participate and vote and move the full members. Do they normally, do alternates normally attend the meetings? The, they do it. Just to be informed yeah. and know okay. what's going on. They do, on. yeah. Okay. You don't okay. need to vote normally. But. So, that they so then that's seven. No, five, Plus. six, seven, eight. Well, so, so I think to Mike's point, when, when it comes to a time that you would want to vote on anything, like we're going to bring X forward, for, for an evening when you're going to vote, you would want an odd number of people present and eligible to vote. Right. So maybe it should be four residents and a select board member. You know, five voting members. I mean, maybe maybe I'm just no, no, overthinking. Like, maybe you like, won't ever have a well. And a the time, other thing is, you know, um, how many people are we going to get? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> right. You yeah. might be using a five four. You're right. Six so. people. So because I think it may be difficult to find that many people, frankly. Yeah, yeah. true. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the rest of it, you know, they have to abide by the right to know law. I mean, that's. That's, that's, that is what it is. Uh, the terms will expire upon the completion of deliverables, but no later than November 1 of 2019. I want to push we can, back, we can revise that. Yeah, I that think you would want to push that back. But, um, and then, you know, you know uh, talking about the assessment and getting, getting input from relevant town board. I think it makes sense. I mean, discussing with the, the school district is regarding uh, expected changes in use of the school building itself and the SAU building and different options of things. That, that, that didn't make sense to me because the SAU building is in Summersworth. So that should be taken out. Well, I think the point of that... They think, I think that they, if we go separate or our separate ways, then, then you're going to need a place like our GS. It goes back to, again, if you're going to build a facility that includes administrative offices, then do we need to build it big enough to house um, an SAU, like, you know, a couple of rooms for... School district staff. Something to think about, and then they could pay your rent. But I'm not saying you should do it, I'm just saying that's mm -hmm. something that could happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, yeah. And then the, the general assessment to include the following, I think that makes a lot of sense. And uh, I'm not going to say every, every single one of them, but if you go forward with, and we haven't, well, we haven't gotten to that part of the agenda yet, but What's coming next, actually? We haven't heard back from the, the, the consultant service. We haven't got a contract yet, have we? We do not have a contract. Okay. She is working on that, and okay. we should so have it shortly, really, but it's not for me. Okay, so we're going to table that anyways. But um, I think a, a lot of uh, some of the stuff that may seem like a heavier lift in the um, it's hard to see. I'm sorry. Of the um, <coughs> the charge will be <coughs> excuse me will be borne out of that study. So there'll be more resources, I think. But. I mean, if you want to wait to vote on it again next week, um, if you want to revise it again, you don't have to vote on it tonight if you don't want to. So that would be nice to cross something off. Or you can vote on it tonight and change a date to something a little bit later yeah. that gives you more flexibility with the warrant. You should at least do December. Uh, maybe January. I think. I mean, at this point, it's approaching the end of June. We have findings, people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think you're talking. Do you even need to put an end date? You, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because 
So scratch that. Yeah, I would just take the date off. Yeah, <coughs> works too. Yeah. I like a vent that's like pouring pollen down. That's <laughs> what it feels like. I'm killing pollen right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, so are you ready to vote on it tonight, or do you want to wait? I'm fine with just scrapping the date and moving forward. Do we want to change the number of... And change it probably to four instead of five. You can say up to yeah, a certain number to. because you don't know how many people you'll have to step up for. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think up to makes sense. Up to four. So do we really need alternates? I mean, like in the case of the planning board, you have alternates for people that recuse themselves. Are we going to have people that are recusing themselves from this? We did before, and they just resigned. So. Uh, I mean, I, I, I sort of think that should be part of the vetting process for appointing members. I guess you don't know what you're going to find, right? right? So we want to build a new facility, and it's at Caroline's house. Right? She shouldn't be on the, but right. you don't know, right? right? We had a contractor in town who was on for a while. And his insight was very helpful, but he he, he, he resigned because um, he wanted his, if it was to go out to bid, he wanted his okay. son, who also had a, mm -hmm. a, a firm, to be able to bid on it, which was, which was fine. He did the right thing, so it was a loss. But, um, and then Charlie resigned, or asked not to be reappointed because of um, the perceived conflict of the moderator. Mm -hmm. So, and that makes sense too, and that's fine. They're both losses, but mm -hmm. okay. still. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the vetting process. We probably should be asking. I think we were very excited to get both of those individuals signed up, to be honest, the last time, because they both brought um, different types of insight, but you know, they, they're not available this time. But there are other people out there like that. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine with moving ahead. Um, okay. I think this is all, whether this is a heavy charge or not, this is stuff we need. Need to figure out, right? And in, in the in a worst case scenario, in a timely manner, the the, the, uh, the committee can come back and say, "Look, we're not able to access this information. We need you to either help us find a different avenue to get the information, or you find it on your own, because we, we we're not capable of doing it." And that's completely acceptable too, in my mind. A, a, a volunteers coming and saying, "Look, this is we can't handle this. Please get us help." So you bring up an interesting point because I'm thinking about when we post the openings on this committee, do you post the charge or not? You post the charge so that people know what they're getting in for and they, sure. they know what they're signing up for. I think so. But at the same time, it's a heavy it's charge. It's going to further and... deter people, you know. You should be honest I think you people, need to but... put it out there that a little more simpler terms of, you know, New building versus renovation of old building or maintaining both buildings or, you know, I mean, you have to be a little, that one is, it really so isn't clear what the charge is. Right. For someone who doesn't know anything about it, who might be willing to step up. You okay. could, um, <clears throat> excuse me, publicly you could just issue the charge of the committee. Um, you know, that it's an advisory, in its advisory capacity to the select board, the committee will do blah, blah, blah taking out, of course, the, uh, the five members, changing that to up to four. I mean, it could be up to six, whatever you want to do. Okay. Maybe up to four. And then um, taking out the date. And people at least will know, I think, what they're getting. They don't need to know every single detail that's, that's all this. I well, I, I mean, I can, I, you doesn't... know, I think Denise has a, has a good point that it's kind of heavy reading. And so maybe just a quick blip about you know, this is what it is, and then click here for full charge. That's so you can, you can do that too. All right. You can I do that too. You just need to get done sooner rather than later. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So the, one of the things, that, back to the membership though, if we go to six, I wouldn't have your alternates. If you go right. to four, right. I would have your alternates. I you think know, you just, can. You know, I mean, I just, did I say that wrong? I said, no, you said it right. Okay. Saying. Yeah, I mean. So you have enough voices. You just want to have enough people, because it's going to be a lot of work to do, and you've got to have enough people who are going to have the t have the time to do it. Um, mm -hmm. So more hands make it easier. So. I would say just say up to six members mm -hmm. and scrap the alternates. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I think Miles was absolutely right. That there's a reason why there are alternates to the ZBA and to the, mm -hmm. the final. They're decision making boards where this exactly. one doesn't because you've got to come to them to see what exactly. it's like then. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's good. All right, so why don't we have a motion to adopt that um, that charge, and we'll. Right, I'll make a motion that we adopt the uh, charge of the Rollins Street Space Needs Committee as uh, amended. Second. Okay, so moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, aye opposed. All right, respect one. So, but please consult, we're going to have a table because they have, it. unless people just don't want to move forward. It seemed pretty clear in the last few weeks you wanted to, but you yeah. know, we're waiting for the, the contract to come. So. And then we can say whether or not we really want to do it once we see the contract in writing. Are you doing both firms' contracts? Or did you we pick up two weeks ago? Didn't we pick one, I thought? I thought we went with the second, second firm yeah. with the work. Okay. Yeah. B, yeah. It was my recollection, too, but sometimes it's fun. So we're still waiting for that language, so we should probably table that for now. Yes. Time to get with it or we're not going to hire him. Well, exactly. I'm, I'm with you. I'm going to say the same thing, actually. Um, Eversource proposal, it's the same thing. We're waiting for the We're still waiting, and I'm not sure why that's taking so long, but so, um, they know we're after it. They were hoping for it tonight. Um, well, no language. Hmm. Can't give them our business if they don't give us the language. So. No. So um, I'm hopeful we'll have it for next week. All right, so we'll table that for now. C, cutting trees in the park. So the um, the hydro dam at the at Bicentennial, Bicentennial Park. Let me just say tonight. Um, so our side of the of the embankment, um, there are some trees that would need to be cut down for repairs that need to be made um, according to FERC. Is that who's requiring the repairs? Yes. The Federal Energy. Regulatory, Regulatory commission. commission, thank you. I'm trying to think what the art was. Um, so we need to decide whether or not we're going to allow that cutting to happen. Um, there are uh, requirements in the Rollins for zoning for a zoning ordinance about cutting on the river, and there's also um, the Oh, shoreland right. Protection Act. Yeah. DES Shoreland Protection Act. But we are a lot of thin, isn't that what you saw? Um, at least as far trees? as the state regulations are right. concerned, and then you're just, you, you have the zoning ordinance. Right. And we have the, the ability to, uh, I think, in the ordinance actually, to waive the town's, uh, the town doesn't actually have to follow its own zoning ordinance, which is a joke, but, um, but it is what it is. Um, I only bring all that up, not to, to discourage us from doing it, but just so everyone understands that there are there are rules of place about a, an individual just going and cutting all these trees down if they own uh, property along the river. Um, if we don't allow this, then they won't be able, the, the, the company that's been managing and paying for the relicensing of, of our, to use our hydro plant, and for us to actually let anyone else use the hydro plant, um, won't be able to make those repairs and we'll have wasted a lot of resources to get this far for, in relicensing and may not be able to get relicensed, at which point they may say, hey, we're all sorry, well, you're going to pay us then for all of what we did for you, and we couldn't get any further because they, they have to cut these trees down so they can do the repairs. How many trees? Something else, Caroline? No, I think you pretty much got it. Shopping it's um, everything within 15 feet of the river in the park. That's what they're looking at. There's one really large ash tree. What, what's the issue with the trees? Like, what is getting into the water? I think it has to do with um, roots getting into the penstock. It may also have to do with access to the dam itself because they're going to be um, replacing the boards that are no longer along the top of the dam. Mm. And so it may be about access for. Um, for that as well. Is it worth going to have a look at what they're going to cut? I was going to suggest we might want to consult with the, um, the Conservation Commission too before we have a, a lot of angry people down here and saying you were allowed to cut trees down and it wasn't your right to do it or something. So. Um, I mean, I, my, my gut instinct is we, we have to 
we have to do this, right? I mean, we want that real license. Yeah, for sure. Um, we, we depend on, on an income stream from that hydro plant. Not to mention, even if it wasn't them running the plant on our behalf, um, they're paying for our license. Mm -hmm. so, and the understanding is we're going to let them continue operating. But we won't have a license either. Let anyone else operate it. So, unless we pay for it, it's a very lengthy and expensive mm -hmm. process. So, um, I would say we probably want to let them do it as well. But when do they have to have a decision by Caroline? That they I don't are really hoping for it tomorrow, but <laughs> of the, course. the cutting itself isn't supposed to happen until um, mid July. So, oh, okay. So, they, they do have to do some planning around it. I wouldn't delay it too much, but um, it probably would be okay for the decision not to happen tonight. Maybe we can inform them that the, the board um, has discussed it and we would like to get the input of the conservation. We, unless people both don't think we need to, and that's fine too. We no, can just I'd move like forward. To see that. At least consult. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's probably in all of our best interest mm -hmm. to do that. Um, consult with them. And they may say, you know, it's really, it's not our area, it's not their property. It's, it abuts the conservation area as a park, so I don't know. They probably don't have any say over it, but it would be nice to at least consult with them. Doesn't mean we have to take their 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 recommendation. I mean, so if we play this forward and they say absolutely not, those trees can't go, then we're just going to say, well, we're cutting why? Anyway. Well, we ask them why. <laughs> if there's a legitimate reason why it can't be done, well, then we can maybe go back and discuss it with the. Um, the engineers Electric, the engineer, and the, the electrical you know. company, yeah. Again, we don't have to. It's just, it, it might be nice to uh, get their, 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 their opinion. And I, we're asking for their blessing that we can make a decision. Yeah, I would say it's just that. Just tell them that we well, I don't know when are they meeting now again. I don't know when their next meeting is. So I don't want to delay this indefinitely. Um, I think they're probably a week and a half, a week or a week and a half out. Hmm. I guess it's a week from Tuesday. You can't talk to the chair? Well, like I can't, but they're not just the chair. The board, so that's not, yeah. you know, that's one person. Maybe we can ask them to come to next Monday's meeting. And then have a discussion with us, yeah. Again, that might just be the chair. Yeah, the chair, though. Can the chair of that committee send a, a poll out to um, to the membership of their committee and see what they think? Again, maybe it's just not plausible or possible for them to do it, and we just move forward. Well, but you lack but the the input of if if they say no, are they saying no because they don't like the idea, you know, just because of you know for emotional reasons, or are they saying no because they don't think it's compliant with? You know, well, can we send the master plan, or you know, right. who knows why they're saying no? Right. Can we send information to, to the whole committee from the board of selectmen saying this is what we've been, you know, um, asked to do, and we want to run it by you for your opinion, not your vote, and not your right. And just say that you know, if you have any concerns whatsoever, please be at our meeting next week and um, express them. But send it to the whole committee, not just okay. not just the chair. Does that make sense? I can do that. It does make sense to me. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then we can make our decision next Monday night. Right. So you can tell them we are very tight on right. our making a decision. But please, let, um, it's not you know anymore. What's the company? Green Mountain Power. Green Mountain Power. Let them know that we just want to consult with them. Yes. We'll, we will give Absolutely. them our decision. He's on. calling tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, I think it's probably fair to say that if it were just a select board, that we're in concept, we're okay with it, but we mm -hmm. want to we want to consult with the conservation commission. Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah, I think that, that's fair. Yeah. So just yeah. so they know there is a decision forthcoming. I don't want them to think they got to wait another weekend to crap shoot. I mean, I think it would be foolish of us not to do it. But again, I understand we live in a small town. And Are you going to write the? Oh, um, I can. I can write the email. The, okay. uh, the other piece of information is that. There's a large ash tree there. Um, there's an invasive species eating yes. ash trees. So the emerald ash uh, borer. Ash borer eagle. Yes. Yep. So um, anecdotally, the arborist who calls. You're telling me the tree has come down anyways. Essentially, just cut the tree down then. Forget it. <laughs> it really, 
you and Lego want to it's not that it has to come down. It's not going to die right this minute. But we, we do know that it's infested. Though the arborist told us it's infested. He didn't say it's infested. He he did not say it's infested. Okay. But there's a likelihood, given the environment, you know, here where we live, and the infestation in this area, that it's going to go soon. So just put that in your note as well, mm -hmm. as justification Thank to you. what. Yeah, I mean, let's just I will add that. Add that I that apologize it's a... for the buried leaves there. <laughs> Kill me. All right. Ash borer beetle. All right. Emerald ash borer. Yes. Okay. So we will hold off until we uh, okay. until next Monday on that. Yes. I forgot where I left it off. Uh, recreation. Another cheery topic for number for tonight. Mm. Denise, do you want to give us an update on um, right. on on our space issues over there? So I went to the school board meeting last week and um, we had, they gave us 30 to 45 minutes of conversation wow. and it ended nowhere. We don't have anything more than we had before. So they weren't so. willing to take a position? No, nope. um, I did, well, I can't say that. I got an email from Rich saying that they will modify the hallways so the tables are on one side and we can have the other half of the hallway, the center hallway down the annex. But that's it. So none of the other classrooms in the, nope. in the annex, the no, library? No, nope. their teachers need to have their time to fix their rooms. And it would be a failure having a new kindergarten teacher not be able to have her classroom in the length of time that they're saying that she needs. And that's So this will be this way every summer? No, the, what the happened show. was, uh, what, there's is a twofold thing. We knew about the gym. We knew yeah. we couldn't have the gym. Mm -hmm. So the gym is being done the... End of July, is that right? Yeah. July, yeah. Um, so it can't be walked on for the rest of the summer. So we knew about that. Yeah. But the, what also is happening is that they're having tile in the old building uh, redone on the, I think it's both floors, but mm -hmm. um, it's so for some reason it, it's starting late. And so that side of the building has to get done before this happens. I think it's just the hallways, though. It's, yeah, just the hallways. Um, so that's off the, the, you know, plate. And so it's just, so they need to do that side of the building first, and then the last side, uh, this side of the annex is what's left, and it's just, they have to move all of the um, furniture out and do all the waxings and all of that, and it just, there isn't enough time in their butts. So um, principal and, and the um, head of, maintenance was there and they just can't see any way that they can accommodate us. I don't think it's a yearly thing, however, I would recommend to the Recreation Committee immediately following um, this year's program to submit a uh, space request and get it in there immediately with the dates that we need so there's no question for next year. Um, so it just push, pushes us to think about our five-year plan what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and get, you know, um, see if there's other things that we can do to have space that doesn't rely on everyone else to make those decisions for us. So, well, we're going to have to start thinking about that. Did anyone retire when you were on the school board? Did anybody retire Any when I was... teachers retire when you were there? Yes. Oh, God, I was there for many years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every year there right. was retirement. Okay. I mean, when do they have to let you know? November. November, right? Of the year before, right? So we have been, when I say we, uh, the, as a, the town mm -hmm. side, have been in contact with the school for long before that. Mm -hmm. So so they have known about Mrs. Wright's departure, mm -hmm. Mrs. Nichols' departure, mm -hmm. since November of last year. Yeah. And this principal was the principal then. Yes. So. Yeah. But it is their building, and oh, I understand. they it's have the building. right to say. So we when can't. it's 103 degrees outside, and it's not safe to leave the the children of Rawls for the or in other children in other towns, they go to our program outside. They're just going to all pile into the hallway and yeah. have their program there. Yeah. Well, we're gonna. We're also looking. Um, we talked about this the other night. We're looking to see um, if we can get some more field trips out to get them away from the school for the for the whole week. So we're working on that. Um, my other suggestion is if it's 
forecasted to rain the entire day. You just call and say, sorry, we can't have the program. The school has not allowed us to have these two weeks of the school. So we don't have indoor um, accommodations at the school. We have looked into the Legion. Mm -hmm. The Legion is going to get back to us this week, I hope. Um, but there will be a fee for it. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't come free. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that, you know, um, they also... <laughs> Judy, uh, the chair um, of the school board, had um, gone to Taylor Rental to investigate rentals of big, you know, uh, circus tent type things, or what do you, you know what I'm talking about, the bigger, bigger tents. Mm -hmm. And she just came up with, they came up, they had a great bargain for us if we want to buy one for $1,000. Is the school district paying for it? Well, they said they would. Really? Yeah. Oh. But then when I left the meeting, I guess they said, well, I guess she didn't want us to buy the tent. I'm not going to tell them how to spend their money. That's not my job, you know. But I, but the problem well, is those are, <laughs> those are um, those are very difficult to put out. Of course they are. Be, and who's going to do it, you know? So to you say, it, and then so. who's going to store it? Right. Because what they were going to buy it, but we were going to have to store it. Right. I guarantee Where? it. Well, we yeah. have a storage shed there, right? I'm sure it'll fit right. Oh in. my God, those things are enormous. I know, I'm joking. Yeah. it's not going to fit. But you know, those are with spikes and. Yeah, it's not. Plausible. I wasn't. That wasn't my idea. Well, could they lend the labor? Not that that's a full answer. I'll grant you, but to put it up. Yes. Well, I, I don't know. I if they want to buy it, I'll, I'll use it. But I mean, they, I know. they can help put it up. Um, well, was so. I mean, they should. Well, I'm put it up. I'm not gonna. I was going to just take Selma's offer for those two weeks for sure to just to use her. Which is a good size tent, but not. Yeah, it's not with those great big spikes. But you, though, it right? is. You have the, It's got those big iron spikes. You got to put yeah. it with a sledgehammer. Oh, yeah. Yes, you do. But oh, it's yeah. not a, as big as the big. I don't know. I put that up a few times. Right? Right? I mean, <laughs> what? Oh, it's a forty by sixty tent. It's okay, the forty by sixty. Is yours? It's smaller than that. Twenty by forty. Twenty by forty. Okay. Well, I mean, if you have someone who knows what they're doing, then... Well, that why don't you have the county do it? Well, they put it up. Yeah. Well, why not? They know how. Oh, and well, and have you tents? asked the county if they have the tent available? Well, I know they have tents. Cause they use, I know, but would, they, would they have one available? Oh, I, you know what? I didn't think about that. And then what about the but National the, Guard? Uh, That's the IP staff in Hampton. Oh, really? Um, they set up all our tents yeah. huh. for the whole summer. It's really? like Troy, right? Yes. Troy. Right. Yeah. Huh? Um, I will, able to do I it. will contact Troy and see if it's available mm -hmm. for I that two-week period. I still think it's very disappointing, though. Well, that yeah. There, I, I have the to town say, isn't going to be able to, to utilize it. I mean, the, the problem has been there for decades. Mm -hmm. There were some school board members who were really trying to work it out. I, I mm -hmm. do believe that, but I think that they just weren't going to be able to with the principal and um, others. So it's unfortunate. It's been there for as long as I've lived in town. <laughs> and it's always been a part of the summer. Um, and it shouldn't matter whether it was a school employee running it or a town employee running it. It shouldn't matter. It's still. And I told them that our goal is to have a safe, secure environment for the yeah. children of Rollinsford to go in the summertime and keep them active. Um, and that is there are.
-hmm. because one individual has said that he doesn't live here. Who he says that um, they, we can't use it? We can't make it work. We can't make it work. So. That's really not the best way to start off your career in Rome, but I wouldn't imagine. But neither was making ethnic jokes at the uh, awards uh, ceremony, so that's what he was doing. So, which I, was, I didn't think was very appropriate. But mm. that's up to the school board to handle, I guess. But I'm sure they won't do that either. I'm sure. No, they won't. Okay. So, what was the other thing on there? Non-public. Registration assistance. Oh, oh, okay, so we can do that. As, I was going to say, can we do that, that at the end too? Yeah. Okay, so let's yeah. do that. That will be yeah. moved. Oh, goodness. So I don't forget at the end of the night because I'm going to want to wait. We already handled uh, building permit mm -hmm. schedule of fees. Yay, mm -hmm. John's going to bring us something. Hopefully in the next week or two. He said next week, didn't he? But yeah. we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I found that. Policy review. God, we're flying through here tonight. So we had given Caroline some um, changes to make. She's working on those, she told me earlier today, under the BOS policy. Just fine. I couldn't imagine we would expect them to be done with it tonight. It's like every no. section needs to be revised. So. Yes. But you've yeah. got the sort it's of the note. That's fine. Yeah. So do we want to talk about asset management or purchasing this evening? Look at them if you want. Do you have uh, copies of, us, of them to of us to wow. copies of them for us to look at? Sorry, um, mine is much tighter. Sorry. I might have only saved your copies. So we have assets. Oh, no, okay. Um, okay. Good. I have assets and I have purchasing. So. Um, do you want to look at them tonight? No. Okay. So these, if you want to look at them tonight. I could go either way, but um, have more paper. Okay. I, I have can, them. At you home. have them. Okay. If I if if I commit that I will review them and mark them up, and we can talk about it next week. Next week it is. Is that yeah. okay? I, that's perfectly fine. I'll take them back. You both will commit that you'll do it as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will. That's do we have these? Electronic they're in your email. They're in our email. Yeah, we got them. Um, yeah. I sent you all three in one email. Oh, here's the building permit case. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're going to table this stuff. That's, that's fine. That's what we want to do. Town administration, standing items, board member activities, and updates. But Denise has been very busy this past week. Past week, I have. And has given us our, any other updates for us? I'm sorry. That's what um, I was leading up to. I'm back. No. Or anything that you've no. been working on. Oh, what did I have? Yeah. Oh, um, I thought the um, Wednesday meeting was awesome okay. with the budget committee. Um, Tuesday. 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 The, the municipal. So, you know, you can learn something every single time that yeah. you do it. But there are some new guidelines, too, that, are, that people didn't know about. So I thought it was very well done. And I think that we should budget it every single year going forward because I, it doesn't hurt to take it twice. And if we have new members to... To, uh, it's great for the new members, and it was nice to see the new members. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, in a good turn. Was there any other, um, yeah. Yeah. other committees or, or boards or anything? Uh, we had sure. the cemetery trustee yeah. and um, the trustees of the trust fund. Trustee and the trustee of the trust fund. That's yeah. really great for them, too, and school. And, from the school. and good. budget. And, and lots from the budget. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's great. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, I was really, yeah, I was really pleased with that. And Wednesday, what did I have? Wednesday. Oh, wow. Wednesday. Um, I had, and then I had the, um, Thursday, what was Thursday? Right. School. School, school board was Thursday. Yeah, so. That's already And then we are talking about that. <laughs> so, that's all I have. And I have nothing this week, but tonight. Well, um, so I, I was also at the budget training. Um, very, very useful. Um, I didn't make it to Stormwater. I, I spaced on a conflict that I had. I almost left someone stranded <laughs> at the airport. Um, <laughs> sure, they appreciate you not forgetting yeah, that. It, it, was, it was CMJ, not the airport. But uh, fair enough. Um, so. This week, uh, tomorrow night, we have CIP at 6.30 oh, um, to get that kicked off. And um, got that posted. Or it will be before we... Uh, <laughs> we That's a good question. We can we can certainly do it. I, I'll check into it before. That would be good. Yeah. You can always remember that. Yes. Yes. 
Um, I saw, I wanted that to go to that training. I apologize, I couldn't make it. So mm. I actually really did want it, regardless of whether I was going to be here or not. It was worthwhile, but I just uh, I couldn't make it. So. We were very fortunate we got the executive director, who was the one who did it last year. Mm -hmm. Margaret, yeah. Uh, the, the mm -hmm. oh, she's executive director. She's still sure. doing the trainings to stay engaged with That's the membership. Um, That's a good thing. Unfortunately, we couldn't get this thing to work. Did anybody look at it? Oh, found really? Remote. Found the remote. Found the remote. Okay. Oh, we found it? Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, we're not going to talk about say that. Say okay. <laughs> <laughs> These things happen. You made it work, though, I'm assuming. So. Oh, she had a little... Well, it actually, I thought, worked out really well. She had printouts, yeah. and she had her laptop facing people, but that way she was able to look at people and engage right. with people, oh, I think, better go. than staring at a screen That's in the dark. Great. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I liked it that way Me better, too. actually. Yeah. 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 Good. She great. kept to a two-hour, and we were out of there at 8.30. Wow, that's great. Right? It's 8.30. It was very yeah. dense. Yeah. It was, she covered a lot. Yeah. Town administrator update? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't no, anything else. but yeah. So, uh, yeah, for us. our bookkeeper started today. Oh, good. It's really How is it? Chuck, well. right? Chuck is doing fabulously. Good. He's catching on. He's accomplished a lot already. already. Good. So, um, good, good, good. that's really exciting. He's got a great attitude. And he's not, mm -hmm. um, he's not scared by our scary bunch of disorganized files or anything. He's not put off. So. He was, uh, yes, seemed like a real go-getter when we interviewed him. So. And she yeah. has an empty corner now on her desk. And there's a pile stuff. missing. It was really. Oh, that's good. I'm glad he's working. <laughs> it was great. Um, stormwater. There's a lot going on with stormwater. There's a stormwater meeting Wednesday afternoon. A stormwater coalition meeting in Dover. I'm going to go to that with good. Paul. I haven't been to one of those in a while, so I'm looking forward to that. We have a schedule of things that we need to accomplish. Um, and we're working on those things, um, sending out um, pamphlets and such. But one of the things that we're required to do is, by way of informing the public, is have a public hearing. Okay. So we were kind of thinking that maybe that was something that the Stormwater Committee would do in conjunction with the Select Board. That's a great idea. Um, and so we were looking for a date, maybe sometime the end of June or in July. Um, and June probably is not going to happen. That's next week. So. Right. So how about yes? So I can't believe I can't believe yes. You're right. So I guess we're into July now. Um, maybe you know they typically meet on a Wednesday night. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Wednesday night, but essentially laying out the whole stormwater management plan, why we're doing what we're doing, and That's a good idea. letting people know um, how they can make a difference and help us be more compliant with their own practices. Yeah. Yes. Good. Um, also, we are um, going to be sending out a survey to people who live on the streets that received dog waste signs um, in order to oh. collect data, because we're required to collect data, okay. about right, the impact yeah. of the signs, asking people whether or not they've noticed the sign and whether or not they've noticed any improvement in the problem since the installation of the signs. Right, right. So that'll be happening pretty soon. Okay, um, good. They have a copy of the grant application, the scope of the grant application, and they'll be reviewing that. So they have a lot going on, but um, if you all would consider a date, it doesn't have to be decided tonight. But um, can I make a suggestion that we don't need the same night as the sewer and water? So they're meeting the twenty. They're meeting the twenty fourth next Wednesday, and they're on an every other week schedule, I right. believe. So right. maybe so. In between would be 4th of July, so I guess that leaves the third Wednesday of the month if you want to do a Wednesday. Are you doing, I think you want to do it in conjunction with the select board, right? Well, Just well, it would require you all meeting. doing a Wednesday night. I'm not sure whether, it's up to you if you want to meet earlier on a Monday night. We could, we could do that, but it would probably delay the meeting. I think we could do it a Wednesday night. I mean, at that point, it'll just be two of us. Um, I don't care about Wednesday. I just don't want it to be the same yeah. as the sewer and water. Yep. So. So, so, sewer and water is meeting next week on the, on the 24th. 26th. 26. 26. All right. So. And then again on the 10th. So we could target. We could do it the 17th? Yeah, July 17th. Is that too late? 
It's not too late. That okay. would be fine. Okay. I mean, I think or if they pick another day during the week, then... Well, if that works for you, too, then we can do that. Yeah. And, and I will propose that to them. They were pretty open about a Wednesday if it were a Wednesday. If it were a different day, then I would have to make sure that that different yeah. day worked with them. Okay. But if you want to go with the 17th, I can tell them it's the 17th. Okay. At 6.30? Sure. Yes. If six works, that's better. Okay. Does that work for Sure. Yep. Okay. I should probably actually look at the my calendar. Your calendar for us, Miles. Don't be like me. Mm -hmm. There's some big meeting now, which I know, but oh, I'm not going through the the company summer outing is in Boston on that day. I'm not going through. No. <coughs> no. Oh, okay. You've been to Boston before, have you? Not in four years. But you've seen it before. Yeah. You don't need to go to that anymore. I don't blame you. Okay, okay so the 17th and 6th. Thank you for that. Anything else? It's been busy with hiring people, but REC is getting underway. We're sorting through. Who yeah, still needs hiring? Yeah, it's Sorry. just. <laughs> it's going it really well. Me. Mm -hmm. It really does. It's good, but I can't say enough for how exciting it is to have help, and and he's already able to take extra things beyond bookkeeping. With so, Chuck? Good. Yes. Yeah, you seem very awesome. able, so. It is. It's really great. Very I'm, I'm very excited about progress. Great. Anything else? Yeah. I'm all set. Thank you. When is your plan to move the offices? Clean off the desk. Um, it's going to take a while. 46 of years worth of crap for two people. In there. Um, within the next couple of months, um, it depends on the shifting of files and furniture. Um, I've talked to the highway department who is happy to build a table for the board um, when they have the time to do so. So we, they have to work that around paving and other things. So it's about kind of all the pieces falling into place, but I'm hoping that it will all be in place by September, maybe. I don't know if that's too optimistic. I have to um, stay in touch with the highway department and see how their workload goes. What do you mean by building a table for the board? So um, getting rid of the three desks that are in the board's office, mm -hmm. replacing it with a table that can have drawers, Okay. Space for the board to sit at the table. You can all have like workstations at that table. It would have extra space should you want to bring legal or somebody else to sit and meet with the board. Like if okay. you had a non-public legal or personnel, you could do that in there. Um, I'm still working on workspace for Chuck. Uh, we don't have an appropriate work table desk area for him that's like ergonomically correct for um, keyboarding. Mm -hmm. We don't want to create a workplace injury. So Salome is donating some furniture. Um, once I get the furniture, we'll see how well that fits or doesn't fit. We have some cubicle pieces and parts, some table and um, oh, drawer sure. things up in the attic that maybe the okay. highway department could build legs for or something. So, so it's about getting the furniture the right furniture built and organized, and then getting the move to happen. So, I thought you were going in the office. Yes, office. yes. So oh, that's so the other thing. I thought he was going in your office. Yes, okay. but but there's not room for my desk in the select board's office until we get rid of the three big desks that are in there. Correct. So so we need that table built first so that you all have mm -hmm. space to put Just your. Just get rid of the desks. We don't. Pens I mean, well, I don't have a dog in this fight because I'm a here, but. I mean, we need. But I need. I wanted to have a workspace, but it doesn't need to hold you up. Those desks. Do are your stuff. Yeah. Uh, plan appropriately a for a workspace, but get rid of those desks. I mean, I just want to know when do I have to clean it out? My oh, stuff. I will, anyway. I will. You with the least amount of stuff on it in your desk. Yeah, I know. I know. Probably most of it's not even yours. It's just crap. Right. I said buy stuff. I ain't cleaning yeah. any of the other stuff. <laughs> right. Probably yeah. not. I've got like three pieces of stuff that came with the desk. Um, 
I will let you know and thank okay. you for that. Okay. Um, but it, it, so if you all are fine with getting rid of desks, then we'll move forward with. I am. I mean, this is something we've discussed for a few years. Actually, getting rid of some of those. Not all of the desks, but I think it makes sense. Just to Tom <coughs> desk will stay. He has a, a table that table. is. Yeah. Um, we might rearrange him, but um, he still needs space in there big enough to lay out plans. Yeah. So he'll now, stay in there. The desk that Mike has. Is that not something that you can use? Everything is like writing desk height, not typing height. Oh, like if you think about a I computer table, like the keyboard yeah. is always lower so that your arms can come yep. down at a right angle for typing. So, mm. yeah, you know, like here. yeah. So yeah, that's kind of it. you know that's something that's kind of intriguing about the cubicle pieces and parts is that you could build the supports for that at whatever height is workable for somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and to my mind, that's just a piece of plywood on either side because mm -hmm. they hook right into the walls of mm -hmm. the cubicle. I wouldn't want to use the walls of the cubicle that have been up there collecting dust for yeah. decades. But yeah. we could, you know, they hook right into what could be a piece of plywood on either end. I don't think that has to be really complicated. It's mm -hmm. just about, I wanted Chuck to take some ownership in getting acclimated here and having some say in Absolutely. what is space. What is comfort for him, because he's going right. to be sitting there doing data entry and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Which is why I didn't try to procure furniture ahead of time, because mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you know everybody's different and that he fits mm -hmm. with whatever we get. Okay. So um, we do have things to work with, and I think, I, I guess, um, if you guys are Free to get, you know, ready to get rid of your desks, then um, that certainly moves things along. Um, Give me a weekend and it will be yours to do whatever you want. So do you, need, do you need help with some of the materials that probably predated you? And I'm going to take my civil defense helmet that was yep. mine that yep. I brought here and um, someone gave me as a joke. For and um, I'd like two or three pictures maybe that I have in there in the desk and you can do anything else what you want with the rest of it, it's not mine, so. Okay. Yeah. stuff, it's not mine. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yes, it's, and okay. And it's defense, he cleaned out a lot of stuff. Yes, he did. He, when he left, actually, so, so but it's still a lot okay. of stuff. Okay, well, that's good to know. It probably wasn't even really his, he just sort of, yeah. The things with these desks, in case you haven't noticed yet, people just drop things on them. Mm -hmm. And then they sort of become yours. And yes. They incorporate yes. the rest of your mess. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it's wonderful to get rid of them. Okay, I think so too, and it, it, it makes it easier for you to organize yourselves and giving yourselves space. I just wanted to have some kind of a table for us to be able to go to if we needed to. Well, we certainly have tables that are in the planning office, um, other things that we can sort of patch together in the short term so you have a place to oh, rest a notebook and pencils until yeah. we get the them. meetings that we've had in that office since the time I've been here have been non public with the attorney. Mm -hmm. Right. That's and on town meeting day, when people come to vote, yeah. we'll be in there doing work. But that's but one day out of the. Well, now we're, right. But I'm just saying yeah. those are the only oh, times yeah, we're going to yeah. use it. I mean, but those I, desks just take up space. We don't need them for anything. You'd be so much. I think better off with. No, I agree. We don't need those big enormous. But desks. there should be room for the board to go be, and do some work. And well, because I don't right. seem to get it done at home, so. But I, the table should work, right? So. Yeah, the table is absolutely fine. I just wanted a chair and a table. Yeah, I mean, right. seriously. So, whatever they can do, I'm sure I'll be happy with. You know. Okay. Yeah. I will move on. But, um, I didn't want to infringe on particularly what I thought was your space, but um, if you're finding. Soon. It's the people's space, yeah. not just ours. Can we have some of them there? Is that good enough? Uh, and I might well, they wanted soon. us to use this building for a summer ride because this room is bigger than a classroom. Is what From they upstairs, said. they can run around up in, in the room. library. That's yeah. what they said as well. The school board, don't tell me anymore what the school board said. My blood pressure is just. I probably should delete Facebook tonight too before I go home. Probably burn the bridges all around town. <laughs> wow. But do not enter again. <laughs> so that's good. I mean, you get a plan, and you can get rid of those, and hey, yeah. you can scrap metal them, right? I mean, it would make a fortune. We oh, buy those old Navy desks, those are all scrap, those are all surplus from the Navy Yard. I know. They I mean, so the town got them for free anyway, so not like you're, you know, 
certainly get our money's worth out of it, too. <laughs> okay, so Miles, do you have anything on or in the desk that you care about? I will look before we leave tonight, because I don't... We're getting up early right. enough, we can go ahead. I, yeah, we can go I think that part. there's a couple of notes that have... Yeah. Just Give me a couple of days and I'll come to mine. I don't think I have anything to find. Maybe I can All right, so I will it. set a date to have... Highway, pick them up yeah, when they don't can. Don't do tomorrow. No, and I'll let you know when that is, and yeah. it'll be out there far enough that you, you can know and plan for that. Excellent. Thank you. So much progress. It's very exciting. Thank you. All right. Review of correspondence. Is there a folder for me? All right. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I have this letter about um, Mark McDonald. On Robert's Road. On paving? Yes, you need to have a permit to well, where are they pave paving? your driveway. So you remember Paul Conley's house? Yes. So there was that house that was built off of that? Well, I know who it, where it is. There was pavers up there. was a land chip paving. Maybe but I thought driveway. that they got denied putting up. A new driveway. They, they can't make a new cut off, off of, of Robert's Roberts. Road. But oh, so, so oh, they're so sharing they're the driveway from their, with one their garage down to the other road. Is what yes. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, and so we're sure it wasn't um, um, wasn't included in their other permit when we got their, their, house. their house. It wasn't on there, was it? Did I cannot imagine that? it would. I will check I'll that. Check. But I'll sign it, but can you check it? I will check that. Typically, they are not. Mr. Mrs. McDonald, um, come, McDonald, sorry, come and I, I believe for me. we discussed that when we filled out the original building permit. But I think so too. I remember having this conversation. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Wasn't there another letter I needed to sign again um, because the address was wrong or something? Or no, the owner was different or something? The owner changed. Okay, yeah. we have um, we have purchase order 1641 for Seacoast Printing for um, a total of $350 to order more uh, Camp Rally shirts and Team Camper shirts. You didn't put the quantities, but... Uh, it's an up to amount so that she has oh. a little bit of flexibility okay. while they're going to find I'll second that. Okay, so didn't we just do this last week? This is an addition because people are looking for sizes that we don't have. So, okay. based on people. So, we need correct? an additional on top well, of what we did. Yes, and last week we did staff and Camp Raleigh. And this is team and Camp Raleigh. That's fine. Okay. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Purchase order 1641 has been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. All right. So I have purchase order 1642 for Take Flight Adventures. Carrie Main. 13 uh, aerial adventure courses and 13 zip line tour adventures. Um, for a total of $650.06. 50% deposit down, 50% on arrival on 626. So are you looking for the whole amount? 50% needs to go out at ASAP. Well, the 26 oh. is only days away. So they would like a check um, sent out this week. Did and we then, second it? Oh, I'll second it. I'm sorry. <coughs> they would like a verification. Okay. So I cut checks on Monday. So I, I, I'm, I will try to get a check out this week, but it would be better it, to have purchase orders. This is why, like, approved ahead of time, because typically when purchase orders are approved on a Monday night, the bills for those or associated expenses don't get approved until the following week because they only typically do checks on Monday nights. So, um, do you have a, um, a quote or a, a bill to go with that? Like, there are invoices that went to the rec committee today. Okay, I saw that. All right, so. Um, okay. So we're approving the 650.06, yeah. half of it will go out one, and then you, this will be approved so you can pay the other half one. Right, right. Yeah. That's so we're looking for the 50% to go up, get done this week, I guess. Can you still? Or next month. You can do that. Okay. We'll All right, so. So purchase order 1642 is been moved and seconded. Better than than me. I'm not going to zip lines. Any other discussion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, now we still have the SHI for the highway computer oh. and monitor. 
I'll put that on the agenda next week for Under Highway because he wanted to talk to George about that. Oh, crap, we did, yeah. I knew there was somebody else wanted to talk to him about. Yeah. Um, so we'll hold on to that then. Application for clean water state revolving. Uh, that's uh, that's done. I'm sorry, that should be removed. You did that already. Okay. That's all I have. That's it. That's it. Yep. Are we done? With, what's this? Well, this is bills. That's bills. Yep. We are our red folder. Are we we don't have that tonight. We're good. Just in case. Check it out. Just in case, I don't want there to be a purchase order of of importance that we um, we miss in the front office. Maybe I just have to sign it again. We already authorized it once. It was just a the ownership of the property had changed, so we sent a letter to the previous owner. Nothing in the red folder. Nothing in the red folder. Any input? Yes, Celia. Uh, Celia Leopold, 426 Washington Street. The principal did attend a rec meeting back in April or back in March and gave us an couple of proposals that he was trying to take the school board to make a space at the school and the school board um, later shot them down when he approached them about it, like building a pavilion that would have been on school grounds. They decided that they didn't have the timeline to go forward with that. And that was an option that he had offered us. Or the resources, probably. Um, <laughs> and um, some concerns came from other rec committee members at the school board meeting about looking at, like Denise said, at the five-year plan and whether the school is a viable option in the future. So, um, we are looking at all avenues. As part of that committee, the committee did meet last Wednesday night too, same, or Tuesday night, same time as the budget, and there may be a, something, uh, a, last year the, this board wanted to look at, um, walking waivers for Camp Raleigh, oh, so yeah. sixth grade and under, and there may be a family that will come before you again. They live across the street, right? So we kind of make uh, this no, is a different, different family, family. Oh. and we're going to be reaching out to them this week. Thank you. Anything else from public? All right. Well, we bid you adieu. We are going to go into non-public session to deal with welfare. We will come back out of non-public session to take action on that one bill that we received, and then we will uh, go home. You're more than welcome to stay and come back and we're um, finished. And we're, and we're dealing with the recreation, um, recreation um, uh, uh, assistant, scholarship assistance yes. uh, also in non-public sessions. So that would be two. Yes. Okay. So I need a motion to go into non-public. We'll do welfare first. I'll make a motion to go into non-public for welfare. Second. Uh, okay. It's been moved and seconded. Do we need a roll call? Denise? Yes. Miles? Yes. Mike? Yes. We are not.